And hello YouTube, this is GS Mama Smart, and I'm today with a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe After Effects and how to use overlays to enhance your video. Particularly speaking, we're going to be taking a look at particles. Now there is a free... Uh, it's not a plug-in, it's a set of stock, a set of stock footages that uh, someone has created. It's called Particulas. And you can get these for free. I will have the link in the description down below to the official website. However, uh, the download link from that website has like MOV files. And if you're on a Windows, you can't use those. They won't be supported for After Effects if you don't have the correct codec. So I do have a Dropbox link down below that has the MP4 files if you want to use those instead of the MOV files. But essentially, what overlays do is say you have two pieces of footage here these I got off of uh, free stock footage sites and we're just gonna drag them both into our library here and we're gonna go start with start with this one right here drag it down and create a composition here now as you can see this is a nice shot of just grass here in the nature right looks pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and drop it down to half quality, so rendering time doesn't take forever. But we can add some nice overlays here. And you could pretty much do this with any type of overlay. It doesn't need to be particle overlays. It could be any type of overlay that you want. So uh, my second folder here that I have, I have several pieces of particle effects here. So we're gonna highlight them all and we're gonna drag them into After Effects here. And what you can see is you can click several of these. Oh, this is the other stock footage I'll show you in a second we can click several of these and as you can see if we uh, make this a little bigger here these give us some nice little particle effects that are already pre-made for us now there are a lot of uh, plugins out there that you have to pay for to create such particle effects but if you can find uh, free stock footage that already has particle effects made like this it's very easy to apply them and whether you're making an introduction or whether you're making a title sequence or credits these are really neat to do these are really neat to use because they're already made for you and you can very easily just drop them over your footage by using it as an overlay so for example the piece of footage that we have here which is the grass as you can see here I want to add some particles on top of this piece of footage to sort of give it some more pizzazz so I'm gonna go ahead and look through my five pieces of footage here um, this one is not really much going on I think I liked four a lot. Actually, I think I liked this one a lot. There was one of these that I really liked a lot. This one right here. This one's really nice and calm. Uh, you can always change the lighting. You can always change the opacity. You can do some color correction on these, uh, just like you, do, like you do in any other video layer. But essentially, what you want to do is grab your file here and then drop it on top of your regular video file. Now, as you can see, it's a bit smaller. So grab the end here, hold down the shift key and just scale it up some just like that and then what you want to do is want to change the layer mode so right here if you click toggles and switches you'll get the layer modes right here and on this layer mode you want to select either screen or you want to add addition or you want to use a uh, color dodge several of these can work i'm gonna go ahead and use screen and as you can see when we scrub through this again we actually have the particles on top of the regular piece of footage which sort of enhances the video a bit it sort of makes it a bit more magical it makes it look a little better um, but like I said you could use this for anything let me go and render through this at full quality so we can see how it looks so here's our finished work now, as you can see we have these nice particles going over the footage it makes it look really nice and it's very easy to do it doesn't take much time all you gotta do is drag an overlay on top of your clip and go choose screen or uh, choose add or color dodge as you can see addition or add right here it basically gives a it, it gives a, a better effect a little bit because the colors go through a bit more you have a bit more light uh, brightness and contrast so you may want to use addition uh, rather than screen for some pieces of footage and for other pieces of footage you may want to use color dodge I don't think color dodge looks that great though here yeah you, the particles sort of go away so depending on what type of footage you have you want to you want to choose between those three you can use some other ones as well but those are the three that I found to be best useful so let's go ahead and try this on another piece of footage with a different with a different uh, overlay so you can sort of see some of the things you can change on let's go ahead and use uh, this piece right here and composition is already set to the size and let's go ahead and use something a bit more chaotic not this one I think it was let's, let's use something like this 
So very similarly, again, drop it on top of your piece of footage here. Oh, that didn't go. There we go. And then hold the end, click, hold shift, drag it like that. And then we're gonna go to normal, change the layer mode to screen. And now when we scrub through this, we can see that the particles are actually part of this. Now, if you don't like that the particles are are too visible, you wanna have them a bit lighter, you can very easily click the little down arrow here. And you see you have transform here. Go ahead and press transform. Let's go ahead and move this up a bit. And your opacity, you can actually change this to say 60% if you want a 60% and the particles get a bit more opaque and the effect looks a bit better. You won't have it as profound and chaotic as it was. And sometimes that can be good to make the effect a bit more opaque. But you have several different pieces of footage here. Obviously, if you find more pieces of footage, you can create a whole new folder with a ton of overlays. These are just five that I found free from Particulus. And if you want to download them, go and use the link in the description below. But fairly easy to do. And let me go and render this so we can finally see the finished product of this. So here's our finished product. As you can see, the particles go nicely over the piece of footage. And this is mainly working because we have a black background. Because we have a black background, and essentially, if, if you ever want to use an overlay, make sure it has a black background, and then the, well, basically, the effect is on top of the black background. You can always use the technique of changing the layer mode to add or screen, because black will basically stay on top of the video, and the black will stay out while everything else stays in the footage. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, I like to use these particle effects a lot for title sequences, or for introductions, or for credits. They make it a bit more engaging, and it makes it look a bit more nicer. But you can use this for anything, like I've said. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go and subscribe. Plenty of other Adobe After Effects tutorials on the channel, and lots of other software tutorials on the channel as well. If you like this tutorial, you can always donate $8 to my Patreon page. Anything as low as that is always very helpful and very much appreciated. All you gotta do is click the card in the top right-hand corner of the screen, and it'll bring you to the page. I also have a gaming channel, advice channel, music channel, and a vlogging channel. You want to check those out. Links in the description, as well as on the end card. And that's pretty much this video. Thank you for watching, as always. And this this is GSMAM Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.